Hey everybody, it's Mike the Reptile Guy here, and we are here again with the awesome Canyon Lizards. Um, yes, I'm obsessed with these guys, they're kind of awesome. Um, but really the reason for this video is to do an update video on the little guy here. Uh, as you guys know, if you watch my videos, about a month ago we posted a video of this guy when he first came in. I think it was May 17, something like that. Um, he came in from someone who bought them, because they were a little bit underweight, he bought this one and another one. They were a little bit underweight, so we bought them, but they weren't doing very well for him at all, and one actually died. So the day after the one died on him, he decided to bring this one in, just emaciated, it was thin, um, it had no energy, you'd pick him up, he'd just kind of flop around in your hand, he wouldn't move anywhere, he just kind of sat there and did nothing. So for a little over a month, we force fed him literally every single day, sometimes twice a day, we were force feeding him. We were mashing up snails and things like that to get him to try to eat. And he was taking it, but he wasn't really gaining any weight, he wasn't really gaining any energy. Um, and then one day, it was about a week ago, he just decided he was gonna start eating on his own. Um, so we'll put him down, so yeah, he actually walks around now. He's got some energy. Whereas before, he wouldn't. He's actually getting a little feisty now too. Um, when you see when I go to reach for him, he actually gets angry sometimes. He has whipped at me a couple times. And I mean, I don't want an angry caiman lizard. We already have one angry caiman lizard in the back. Um, but I'm just happy that he's actually showing some energy. He's going to go to the bathroom again. Are you kidding me? No, oh, maybe not. But you know, you see the big difference in him now. If you look at the video from before, how he just kind of flopped around in my hand. Um, whereas now he's actually moving around. Oh, look at the other one pooed instead. Look at that. We just can't stop these guys from going to the bathroom. Anyways, we're going to keep rolling with this one. I mean, we've already just stopped this a couple times because of accidents, but we're going to keep it going because that one wasn't that bad. Um, so what we got him to eat, just out of nowhere, he decided to eat, were these. These are smelts. There we go. Smelts. So basically, we take the smelt. This is obviously too big for him to eat, so we cut the tails off, and he eats the tails. Um, I doubt he's going to eat for us right now. The big guy obviously is going to eat, and by big, I mean big for when he was a month ago. Um, right now, oh, that's so gross. Right now, um, he looks pretty big, but he'll get up to about five feet long when he's full grown. These guys get very large. Now, if you stay still, stop, stop, stop for a second. I want you to actually eat. I want you to show people how you actually eat. Show people that you can do what the big guy's doing. No, I don't think he's gonna eat right now. Now, these guys are specialized snail eaters, um, but I mean, honestly, if he'll eat this, I'll feed him whatever he will take. Oh, he was thinking about it. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna take it right now. And this is a huge step from having to force feed. Like you guys saw our last video we did, we had to actually shove the food in his mouth. There we go. Now he's eating. Now he does have a hard time eating. He's coming along, but I mean, it got to the point where he'd take it into his mouth, and we'd actually have to like help him push it in because he couldn't figure out how to eat it. Um, but now he'll clean this entire, there's 10 smelt tails here, and he'll clean this all out in a matter of five minutes when we leave it in his enclosure. Um, and then hopefully eventually he'll start eating snails and other things, and he can grow nice and big and strong like this guy here. Now, we do have kind of a raffle going on right now, um, so we're going to go out, we're going to talk about that in a second. But if you guys want, if you're not sure what we do, we are an education center that does rescue work. Um, and our education center, think of it like an indoor reptile zoo. Uh, we have about 175 animals on display. We've got lizards, snakes, turtles, tortoises, frogs, tarantulas, scorpions, a little bit of everything. We even have them calling here. Um, we're open every single day. We're in Mission BC, and basically you pay a small admission. It's nine dollars for adults, seven dollars for kids, and you get a tour around and get to look at all the animals, and you actually get to pet and hold them as you're going around on your tour. So it's not like a regular zoo where you just kind of look around, you're on your own. You actually get a guided tour with every admission that's paid in here, um, and I get to you know a very hands-on look at the animals. So now let's go up and I tell you about the raffle we have going on right now, and uh, hopefully you guys can win an awesome prize. So this is what we have for our fundraiser that's going on for the month of July, well until July 23rd. Um, July 23rd is our one year anniversary of having this building in mission actually open to the public, which we're very excited about. It's a, you can see it's a very big building here with lots of animals in it. So this is the prize, the grand prize, $600 worth of pretty much everything you need to go camping. We have a tent, a couple of sleeping bags, a couple of sleeping pads, um, camp stove, a couple of chairs, propane, some cookware, there's pretty much everything you need to go on camping. You, you can win this prize and go out and go camping and all you need to do is go and get food and that's it. So the way this is going to work, if you go to our website, www.reptileguy.ca, uh, you make either a $5 donation, you get one entry, or a $20 donation that gets you five entries for this raffle. Um, the prize will be drawn on July 23rd, right at the end of our one year anniversary. So 
Go to the website, make a donation, help some animals, win some awesome camping stuff, and there you go. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and thank you for your support all the time.